Look, all we have to do now is keep our heads down, sit tight until the insurance money comes through. Then we can draw a line under all of this. Steve? Are you listening to me? Or am I talking into thin air as per usual? I'm sorry. I was listening, and as usual, you're absolutely right. Hmm. Someone's in a good mood this morning. Not especially. Mind you, it's about time, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't argue with that. Not just that time to think about what you've been saying, that's all. About relaxing more and worrying less. And from now on, that's exactly what I intend to do. Well, I'm all for that. Anyway, I've got to get going. Mm. Don't want to be late for work. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. See you. It's about time you got yourself organised, young lady. We have this every morning. What are you looking for, anyway? Homework. You can't leave anything in this house. Is this it? And I want you straight back home after school, do you hear me? I said Chelsea could stay tonight. Great. I beg your pardon? Well, her mum and dad were away for a couple of days, so I said you could stay here again. It's all right, isn't it? Well, you could have asked me first. We didn't mind last time. And anyway, I'm asking now, aren't I? She is turning into a right little madam, that one. You know who she gets it from. Who? Her mate, that Chelsea. Don't say you haven't noticed. Noticed what? I hope you don't think I'm jumping the gun here, but, well, time is of the essence and all that. So I've uh, took it upon myself to draw up a short list. Oh, yeah. Now, I want you to carefully consider each and every candidate. They don't make fine husbands, and I'll be right proud to give you away to any of them, being as your dad won't be there. Well, take your time, I'm on, dear. It's, uh, not expecting an answer now. Mad Tubby Dingle. Yeah, I have to admit he wouldn't be my first choice. Mine neither. I don't believe it. He gets worse. Cousin Aaron? What's wrong with Cousin Aaron? What's wrong with Cousin Aaron? I'll tell you what's wrong with Cousin Aaron. I'd rather be shot than poisoned. That's what's up with him. Oh, no way. Norman Jessup? Hey, you could do a lot worse than Norman Jessup, you know. Like who? Uh, Barrington Dingle. He's on that list in all. Well, I thought he'd been banged up. Yeah, but he's out tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you know what you can do with your list, Uncle Zack. Well, if that's your attitude... It is! I don't believe it. Norman Jessup. <laughs> uh, my offer still stands, you know. What offer? You know, me and you. Tying not like. I'd rather have Norman Jessup. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Yourself for anything. Don't bother me. She was only joking. She didn't mean any of it. If you say so. Look, I know things have been pretty difficult around here lately. Well, at least we agree on something. But that's no excuse for unacceptable behaviour. Look, are you trying to say something? It's about Steve's little run in with Chris yesterday. Oh, yeah. I presume you do know what I'm talking about. Of course. Chris definitely provoked Steve. However, if I hadn't have intervened, your husband could now be up on a charge for assault. I was hoping you might have a word with him. No problem. Leave it with me. Thank you. Oh, come on. They can't all be that bad. You don't know Norman Jessup. Well, there must have been someone on that list. No, and I'm not joking. And he must have been onto it when he wrote it. It's seriously mind-altering. But it doesn't matter who you marry, as long as you marry someone. True, but there are limits. What do women find to talk about? Beats me. You don't stop to draw breaths, it's the Kermit. Point one, it's got to be someone who's discreet. Huh? Well, someone who's not going to blab. I mean, didn't Mrs Kirk tell you that Paddy mustn't find out? Oh, yeah. So, it's got to be a man with principles. Right. A man with principles. Mm, got to be. That's a tough one. Mm, I know. Hey, 
You two ladies in need of refreshment. Just be fair, put that amount of gas in you've done. Tell me there it is. I've just had an idea. How about Roy? Roy Glover? Well, why not? He fills all the requirements. A, he's single. B, he's in the same position as you, homeless, so he's bound to feel sorry for you. And C, most important, I reckon he'd keep his mouth shut. Roy! Roy Glover? Well, he is the most obvious choice. Do you know, the more I think about it, he's perfect. <laughs> Roy Glover. It's worth a try, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> chop, chop. Steve. Anything that matter? Plenty. What the hell do you think you're playing at? The Godfather? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you will be. I give up. What was it we were saying this morning about sitting tight, keeping our heads down? I take it that doesn't include physically attacking men in wheelchairs? Oh, that. Well, he was asking for it. He was asking for it. Just listen to yourself. You sound like some brainless thug. We have a lot at stake here. Now, look, if I can keep my cool around Chris, then surely you can. Hey, calm down. There's nothing to get heads up about. Oh, excuse me. I beg to differ. According to Laura... Kim! But this is neither the time nor the place. All right, I lost my rag, but that was yesterday. You man, remember? It won't happen again, I promise. It's just that... But shush. We've got nothing to worry about. Trust me. Hmm. Listen, you couldn't do a bit of washing up tonight, could you? It's just the situation. Get that, will you, Marlon? Yes, my lord. Is he trying? But his lordship's resting, but do come in. All right. I wondered, um, could I, could I have a quiet word? Right. See you later. Do you want to sit now? No, I'd rather stand. Well, can I... do you want a beer or something? No, thanks. Tea? Coffee? No, can I just get on with it? Sure. I think I will sit down, actually. Before I go any further, right, you've got to swear on your life that nothing that's said here tonight leaves these four walls. What's that? Just swear! All right, all right, I swear. <sighs> This might come as a bit of a shock to you, Roy, but, um, will you marry me? <laughs> you sure you don't want one? Positive. You see, the thing is, Mandy, I'm going to have to say no. Why? Because it won't feel right. Marriage is a serious business, Mandy. It's... Normally it is, yeah, but this is different. And it's the only chance I've got of getting my hands on that six grand we need to buy our farm. You're making this dead hard, Mandy. I could always make it worth your while. How? Oh. Well, if you insisted, your conjugal rights. I think I need another can. Well, why don't you sleep on it? We could meet up again tomorrow morning. You don't need to meet up again tomorrow. The answer's a definite no, no, eh? No, no, sorry. Why don't you talk to Paddy about it? Why? So you can have a good laugh and all. Mandy. Sick 
boy, look what I've got. Come and get it. Well, if you're not that bothered about it, I might as well just chuck it in the street. Don't. Come and get it then. Oops. Oh, look what I've done. You're in for it now, Donna. I'm quaking in my shoes. That book's school property. So? So you shouldn't have done it. Well, I have done. So what are you going to do about it? I said, what are you going to do about it? And I thought you were hard. Out of my way. I'll see you tomorrow, sick boy. Look, go and enjoy yourself. Trish and I can hold the fort. I'd completely forgotten it was tonight. I, I had a phone call from the brewery and it, it wouldn't look very good if I didn't put in an appearance. Well, just shut up and go and get your glad rags on. Tricia, I've just been telling Terry it's the night of the licensed vitreous ball in Harrogate, and uh, I, I'm completely forgotten. Well, what are you still doing here, then? Get off and enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's what I've been telling him. Yeah, but the thing is, I do have uh, two tickets. I was wondering if you'd care to join me. Me? Yes, I know it's rather late notice. What about the wool pack? Well, I'm sure Terry here couldn't mind the thought, couldn't you, Terry? You know me, Al. Exactly. Why don't you pop upstairs and slip into something more appropriate and then we'll be off? Well, it's really nice of you to invite me, Grandad, but I can't leave Terry here all on his own. Mandy will be here at seven. All the same, it wouldn't be fair now, would it? You go on your own, play the field. Who knows what you might bring back? Yeah, <laughs> a hangover of last year's hell to go by. Go on, go and enjoy yourself. Hey, go on, don't worry about us. Bye bye, Grandad. Nice one, Trish. You think so? Oh, definitely. The licensed Fitchler's ball. I'd rather watch paint dry. Well, we'll definitely have to think up something more uh, interesting than that. As they say, well, the cat's away. What happened? I dropped it. I dropped it? How? I don't know, I just dropped it. But Donna didn't do the stitching. No. What makes you think that? If Donna were picking on you, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Look, nobody's picking on me. I dropped it. It fell in. Now leave me alone. Andy! Aya, how'd it go? Don't ask. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. What's that? It's Uncle Zach's list. I might as well sell for Norman Jessup and have done with it. Oh, it didn't go too well with Roy then. No. And you really find out who your friends are at times like this. Well, there's plenty more fish in the sea. How about Will? No, I'm not asking anybody else. You thinking of calling it off then? No. Just looking at other alternatives. Well, is Rachel in? She might be. What do you want? Excuse me, I don't think that's any of your business. Who says? Who is it, Zach? Mr. Chet! Oh, what's he want? <laughs> well, you heard the lad. Didn't know what he want? Look, I haven't come here to be interrogated by some homeless freeloader. <clears throat> it's all right, Zach. I can handle this. Yeah, well, if you need me, I'll just be in the kitchen. He's got the social graces of a pig. Mind you, that figures. What do you want, Chris? I'm here to offer my services. Thought you might fancy a night out. So here I am. This has got nothing to do with the other night, has it? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, good. It's about time you started taking some responsibility for our son. Keep this up, and by the end of the year, well, you might have made up for past neglect. You misunderstand. I'm here because I think our son should be looked after by his family, not by some virtual stranger. He looks like Tom Jones. No, Tom Jones has got sex appeal. 
Yeah. God, he definitely thinks he's in with a chance. You just have to smell him. I don't know what's worse, his breath freshener, his aftershave. <laughs> you can handle Terry. Oh, I hope so, man. I don't fancy going ten rounds with the oldest swinger in town. I wonder what's going on with the boys. They're behaving very oddly. Yeah. What do you think it is? Girls. What else? Their age. Yeah, I know. I can't bear it. They're all those hormones flying around. Yeah, well, good luck to them. As long as it's someone near their own age this time. Remember Emma cares. Look, I hate to leave you on your own with Cassie, no chance, but do you mind covering for us? It's just someone I've really got to go and see. Sure. But don't leave me for too long, will you? Deal. <laughs> so, uh, what do you reckon to the Dicky Dirt, then? Dicky Dirt? Sure. Oh, yeah. I've got one in red and all. But that's bright. Can't wait to close in time. Yeah. Come in. Hiya. Hiya. Well, this is a surprise. How have you been? Fine, you know. And you? Fine. Uh, do you want to come and sit down? No, thanks. I'd rather stand. OK. I've really missed you. Me too. It's so daft, isn't it? Yeah. I've been dead miserable. Come here. Mandy, you know I've never meant to hurt you, don't we? I know, Paddy, but about the money for the house. I'm desperate. I'm, I'm really desperate I don't and... Leave this! What? This! I thought you'd come round here to talk about it. was not the flaming money. But I have! Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, give us a chance, will you? Well, come on, then. What have you come round here for, apart from the money? Well, what have you got to say to me? Cat got your tongue. You've got it all wrong. I don't think I have. You have! I thought I knew you better than this, Mandy. What do you mean? I mean, I thought that me and you had a future together. I didn't realise that the money meant that much to you. It doesn't. Well, you could have fooled me. It's for the Dingles. Oh, here we go again. The Dingles. Again. They're my family. And don't I know it. Why are you being like this, Paddy? Me that was right. I shouldn't have come round here in the first place. And Q Waterworks. I can see right through you, Mandy. You are just like everyone else round here. Do you know that? Oh, I wonder why. You've got it all wrong. I did come round here to talk about me and you. But I don't know why I bothered, cos you're not worth it. Do you know something? I wouldn't get back with you if you had gold studs round your neck and £50 notes all over your body. Me and you, Paddy, were finished for good. Well, that's fine by me. Good! If you don't mind, I'm busy. I love you, Paddy Kirk. I don't know why, but this is the biggest mistake you have ever made. Hiya. You're late. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, we had a lot of work on and time just flew. Oh, I bet it did. Laura Johnson would get blood out of a stone if she could. It's called work, Kim, and I'm enjoying it. It's called exploitation. That woman's a slave driver. Yeah, but not for much longer, eh? So, how have you been? Fine. Well, you're not still mad at me, are you? Not mad, no. Confused, yes. Confused? You're acting very strangely, Steve. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go to the Woolpack and have a drink? It might do us good to get out of here for a bit. Uh, and what about James? And anyway, I'm, I'm in the middle of cooking supper. Well, you don't mind if I go for a quick one, do you? But supper's nearly ready. Well, I'll be back before you know it. Steve, would you mind telling me what is going on around here? What are you talking about? You, this, this behaviour. I'm not with you. That the past few weeks, I have been living with a man who veers between manic depressive and paranoid schizophrenic. This morning I wake up to a, well, to a man who apparently hasn't got a care in the world. What the hell's going on? Nothing's going on. I'm sorry, Steve. I don't believe you. Um, <clears throat> have you been avoiding me? No, what makes you think that? Nothing. And by the way, we're all set. I'm sorry? Boudoir, fit for a princess. All right. Yeah, um, only two and a half hours to close in. Can't wait. That's Miguel. Well, you're looking very dapper tonight, Terry, I must say. Well, thanks very much, Vivian. <laughs> I think you've overdone it on the old aftershave a bit, mate. Is that what it is? Moving on. Whoa! What's that smell? Him, apparently. I have to turn a beer sour. Hey, hey, I love you, Noel. This is very expensive stuff. You're robbed. Oh, unless it's meant to smell like peppermint toilet flush. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, of course. I know this isn't the right place, right, but I've been thinking about what you were saying. Oh. And, uh, you know, I've come to a decision. If you'll still have me, the answer's yes. Eh? About you offering, you know, to tie the knot. To tie the knot? Tie the knot. Oh, do you mean? I do. What do you say? Oh, Monday. Have a drink and say yes. Oh, Monday. You've made me the happiest man in the world. Oh, Cheers. Um, this is only a financial agreement, but you do know that, don't you? Oh, yeah. We're doing this to save our farm. That's all there is to it, nothing else. Yeah, well, whatever you say, Monday. Good. Well, the sooner we start organising things, the better. Why do you always think I'm lying? I'm worried, that's all. Look, all I'm saying is, if there's anything you haven't told me, now's the time. I didn't want to have to tell you this. What is it, Steve? It's about Cathy. Cathy? What about Cathy? Come on, Steve. I was told yesterday that she might... She might not recover. Not recover? I know, that's why I didn't want to tell you. Well, who told you? Sorry? About Cathy, about this. It was Betty. Oh, God. This is terrible. Kim, there's nothing we can do about it. I've been over and over it. We've just got to keep calm. Learn to live with it. Oh, I get it. This is what you're pleased about, isn't it? I don't know. M maybe. <sighs> Kim, I've felt so awful since I found out, but... Well... Yeah, I also felt relieved. I know it sounds awful, terrible, but... But relieved? Yes. Because now I know we're home and dry. Look, come on, don't tell me you have to be worrying about it, Kim. What if Cathy wakes up and she has seen me? She'll point the finger, then what? It all blows up in our face. And what happens then? I can't believe you're talking like this. Look, I don't mean to. I don't wish Cathy dead. I'd never say that. I never would. But now this has happened, well, maybe it's for the best. I mean, can't you see that, Kim? I'm going to have to get off in a bit. I'll be back tomorrow, though. about that CD you were on about? It's good. Be good in the diner. Anyway, I'll bring it in tomorrow, give it a spin. How is the diner? Oh, it's fine. Biff. What's happened to me?